Hey everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to Montana. Actually, not quite yet. We're in Sandpoint, Idaho, but we're taking these dumpster bins, which I think is a new delivery for Montana as well, to Bozeman, Montana. We're gonna go down through Coeur d'Alene, then cut into Montana, and it's time to get started. We have a beautiful day here. It's Wednesday, 6.55 in the morning game time. Now this is a tandem trailer and it's heavy. So who knows what kind of adventures we're going to get into. We've got Diesel, our dog, with us as well. Hopefully I can make it out of this parking lot without racking this up. This, as we can see here, is a long load behind us. So always an adventure with tandem trailer trucks. Now this is about, I think, a seven and a half hour journey. We are primed up with a full tank of gas and plenty of sleep. So there should be no escapades with those problems. And uh, we're gonna drive for a little while now. I'm going to take us down through Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and then as we get closer to the border of uh, Montana, we'll join back up. So we'll see you in a little bit here as we kind of wander our way through uh, the little part of Idaho before we get into Montana. Very excited for a first look at the state, and we did not take out that sign. Very nice. All right. So here we go. We'll see you in a little while. Alrighty, we've been driving about two hours now. We made our way through Coeur d'Alene. I kind of adjusted the seat here to kind of tweak with the view a little bit too. And uh, straight in front of us should be Montana. Now we've got a little bit of a winding road here, but it should be only, I'm gonna guess, maybe just a few minutes of driving in real time uh, to uh, along this highway, which I think this must be one of the new access points into Montana. Looks like there's a lot of them, by the way. Looks like there's a, at least a half dozen different cities and routes you can take to get into Montana, which is kind of fun to see. We'll be coming in from the one from Coeur d'Alene, of course, and we should see the sign for Montana coming up here somewhat soon. Got a bit of an uphill climb here. All of these city indicators should be Montana. Yep, Missoula coming up and things like that. Um, this is a heavy load for us too. A lot of garbage in the back here, as we've seen here. If we take another look at it here, this is a long trailer and it's a pretty heavy one here too. So. But a beautiful day to head into Montana. Big climb up here as we go in. So we should see the sign pretty soon. I'm gonna guess maybe a minute or so. Now, I know that, that, that one of the, there's five achievements for the state of Montana. And one of them is to take these garbage bins to waste transfer stations. You have to make 10 of those deliveries in addition to making a delivery of a garbage truck, which is pretty cool. That's gonna be a fun one to do. So I'm looking forward to that one. But I'm wondering if these, Wow, this truck is struggling a little bit here. Lookout pass ahead, pretty cool. Um, the truck is this definitely low. I can feel I've got it floored and we're going 45 and dropping speed. So this is lookout pass up here. It does not look like it's a viewpoint. So we're gonna pass, we're not gonna take a look at lookout pass. But yeah, so if, these, if this delivery goes to a way station, where are we must be close, here it is. This must be it, right? Welcome to Montana, right in front of us here. Boom, let's take a little screenshot here. We'll be right back. Not the best sign for getting a screenshot of it, but we did get it. The sign's really kind of small, but welcome to Montana. We are here. Big mountains here, as we can see. And yeah, excited to be in here. So we'll get a look at it for now for about five hours or so. Big downhill coming out here out of Lookout Pass. We are picking up speed with no problems now. But I hope everybody's excited for Montana. Again, it's been, I was looking uh, on my uh, old videos for the kind of, and it was 11 months ago almost that, please pull in for an inspection, 11 months ago that Wyoming came out. And our first event too, this should get us qualify for at least one delivery. I'm not quite sure. It says you have to make 12 deliveries. Whoops, we have to go over here. Uh, almost missed that. <clears throat> and almost cut a car off because of that. But you have to make a 12 deliver, you have to go to 12 of the 15 cities and you have to either originate from, oh, it's a heavy load, it's taking us a while to stop here. There we go, gotta plan ahead. There we go, 106,000 pounds, wow. That's a heavy load for this truck. This might be one of the heaviest we've taken, but lots of garbage to carry to Montana. Um, but yeah, you have to make 12 deliveries to uh, to or from, originating to or from cities in Montana. I'm guessing that means that you can't, like a to and a from doesn't count as one delivery. Probably has to be, you probably only get record for one delivery for one city, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. Well, we're going to get one anyway for this one. We'll have to see the next episode. Plans for the next few weeks, for the next week or so. I'm going to try to make about three or four different episodes from Montana. I have 
some state trivia questions ready for Montana. Six very interesting questions. I think that will be the next episode will be Montana State Trivia. I haven't done a trivia episode for quite a while, so that should be kind of fun too. Now, I did notice here as I've adjusted my seat that Diesel's head is kind of in, our way, in the way of our right side mirror, so I probably need to fix that at some point soon, but we'll let that go for now. But yeah, this should be a beautiful state. Excited to cover some new ground here. Let's get a little further in and then we'll reconnect and chat about more things Montana. So we've just gone a little bit. We can see this running stream here off to the right. And this is beautiful. Of course, tons of nature and fly fishing and all kinds of stuff like that in Montana. And talking to a few people that aren't necessarily familiar with the United States. And it's 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 hard to... The, the country really is split almost into two or perhaps three very distinct sections and the whole the east and ha eastern half of the United States is so incredibly different from the western half the western half being massive with you know wide open spaces mountains and small a lot of these towns I mean we're gonna Billings is the largest town in Montana we let our city, largest city in Montana we we're talking about that on the last episode where a couple people pointed that out and it's only got, I think it's got just a little over 100,000 people. You know, and you get to the East Coast where it's congested, lots of traffic, big cities and everything like that. And as you get west of the Mississippi, the country really opens up. So it's a very different feel for it, which makes the interesting question kind of see like, what you know, what's going to be the progression as they start adding more states to the game and things like that. Because driving in the Eastern United States is, is a lot more, I would say, a lot more like Euro Truck Simulator where you've got a lot of congested cities, a lot of traffic, it's much more urban and a lot less scenic in many ways than the western part of the United States. Not to say that I can see people from the eastern part of the United States saying, and I grew up in the eastern part of the United States, I can see people saying, eastern part of the United States is beautiful. Sure, Vermont, there's tons of beauty in there, but it is a much more congested experience, whereas the west is wide, tends to be pretty wide open. So looks like we have a big truck stop off on the right here. But yeah, nice day here. We got some just some fluffy white clouds driving through. Big, all kinds of two-lane divided highway here. Making good time. We've got about three hours and 42 minutes left. Pretty excited for seeing a new state and things like that. And we should go through, if we look at the map here, we're going to go through a number of cities. We've actually, so we've, we are going to our right there is Missoula. Then we should go down through Butte. And then we're going to go right into Bozeman. So still got a good bit of ground to cover. I thought we might pick up Missoula there for that seeing all 15 cities, but it doesn't look like we get close enough unless we do a detour. And I don't think I want to do that with this tandem trailer here of the, the garbage bins. That seems like city driving with these tandem trails. And this is a long one and it's heavy is a little bit of an adventure for me still, but we will keep motoring along here and uh, making good time. Easy driving. Montana drivers seem really good too. I haven't seen any driver craziness or anything like that outside of me kind of sliding over into two lanes a couple times here and cutting cars off but other than that the drivers have been pretty good here about three hours left we've been following this river the whole way i don't know what river it is but off on the right hand side again beautiful country here well done it's just kind of fun to see how this game has been progressing and especially as they're going back and reworking a lot of the previous states like the california rework yeah, it's starting to pick up for a while there, you know, of course, with the, the loss of the Heart of Russia DLC for Euro Truck Simulator, things felt a little stagnant for a while, understandably so, when you can't produce a, you can't publicize a whole DLC that you've made. But over the past few days, it's really started, you can find it, re, kind of recapture that sense of vibrancy that's, I think, made the game so good and so durable. Because we also have a new truck for American Truck Simulator. I might get it wrong, was it Western Star? 57X or something like that. I was watching a video on it that SES Software put out, and that looks like, speaking of which, that looks like the next truck we're gonna try to get. So the, the plan, I think, with our money right now, we have $209,000. We have a base in Eugene, and we have a small base, just a one-door one, ba one uh, door garage in Roswell, where we started out. With this $209,000, what I wanna do is to get to Billings, which is the largest state in Montana. And once we get there, we're gonna buy a garage there. Then the next goal will be to save up some money. I think I wanna to try to get one of those Western Stars and then switch out the Peterbilt for the Western Star and to try to drive that for a while. Not that I haven't liked the Peterbilt. I really do like this truck quite a bit. I, I really like the color that we've got for it too. 
um, and the design's been kind of a fun truck to drive, but that'll be the next plan. So get a base in Billings and then hire some trucks and drivers and get that next truck, which I think will be that Western Star 57X. I'm kind of curious to see how that new truck drives or so. Got a mysterious black bus there off to the right hand side. Not quite sure what's going on there. And we are struggling a little bit to keep up our speed here. Heavy loads of garbage. And as I do look in that mirror, still can't quite get Diesel's tongue out of the way of that right side mirror. Have to adjust the seats a little bit more. Anyway, we'll uh, motor along. Two hours left. It's been a lot of straight mountainous, well, not mountainous, but highway driving here with some beautiful scenery on both sides of the road. Again, another one of these western states that just has remarkable natural vistas. We've got Glacier National Park here in Montana. I think there's a route that goes through that. Looking forward to some of the viewpoints. Tons of stuff to see and do. It should be a fun next few episodes. Again, the thinking I'm going to try to do, and I think every other day for the next week. So four, possibly five episodes coming from Montana in the next few days. We've got about an, a little over an hour and a half left to go, and we should be going through. So the next two exits here are Butte. I don't know if we're going to get credit for traveling through the city. If on the highway here, we'll find out. So you can see it on the Navi right down below here. We're almost there. It looks like we're going to get close enough to get it, but maybe they're starting to design these so that you actually have to get off the highway to pick them up. We'll see as we go through it here. Now, I have been to Montana a few times in real life, and it, yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get it. See, it should happen right about now. Seems like we're passing right through. Yep, there we go. Butte discovered our first of 15 Montana cities, the last best place one of 15 boom making progress and i'm saying i have been to montana a number of times and again i think the you know if you if you haven't you haven't played these games i think one of the the features that always strikes me is how they're able to capture that that emotional feel of a place and i know a lot of people mention this too and i've talked about it a number of times but thinking on the montana scale like evaluating montana it's got that to me, at least my experience with Montana has been it's very arid. There's a lot of mountains, a lot of nature and stuff like that. But it's it's got this very kind of dry feel to it, as well as still having kind of a, a lot of mountainous, a lot of natural parks and things like that. And this, again, they've managed to capture that same kind of emotional feel of actually being in Montana. So good job to SCS Software for, for just nailing this one again. Oh, this is fun. Look at these rocks on both sides, big highway, hills. Nice. Looking forward to exploring a lot of new territory. We've been in Washington for the past few episodes in Oregon, which of course is extremely wet. And so this is going to be a whole different type of landscape. Got a big climb here again. We can only manage 46 miles an hour and we are dropping speed fast. So as we close in here to Bozeman, we are forcing our truck. Wow. Views off on the right hand side. Let's see if we can get this on external without crashing. Nice. We are really struggling with the speed here though. 38 miles per hour, we gotta get a bigger truck. And we should be able to, I think with this delivery, we might get to level 23, which would uh, give us that next level and be able to perhaps upgrade the power on this truck a little bit too. Now we're coming down. Oh, this looks cool. Fun landscape on both sides. We've got less than an hour to go now. Just kind of want to take a look here. Oh, 45 miles an hour. This seems like... Ah, I gotta slow down. Here we go. Cranking on the brakes here. Fun drive. This section in particular is pretty cool. Mountains in front of us. Wide open spaces here. I think Miami, uh, Wyoming had... Uh, I think population density in Wyoming is probably considerably less than Montana but it is again another state that lots of open space here we can see on both sides let's take a look from the outside here very nice I'm gonna actually get a screenshot here I think this is probably a good one to capture that sense of the Montana landscape so one of the things that everybody talks about there's about 25 minutes left or so in our delivery here one of the things that everybody talks about when they go to Montana it's called like a, uh, it's reference big sky country and stuff like that 
and the sky actually is amazingly open when you go there. It's like you 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 travel through Montana and it's like, oh my God, how can the sky be so big? And it never feels so big to me in other places of the world I've been to. And again, I think this is a pretty good sense for that. It's just for whatever reason, if we could look up a little bit more, you get this massive sense of just open sky around you. It must be just the way the landscape sits and rolls, that kind of high plains type of thing. But again, I've done a pretty good job here, I think, of capturing that sense. I took a screenshot, I'll put it right here, which as I was kind of playing around with the screenshot, I was like, oh, yep, there it is, big sky. So anyway, we are exiting here now. Bozeman off to our right. We should get credit for this city as well, which I'm gonna guess is gonna give us two of 15. I'm sure it's gonna be, I, get, I think as soon as we make the delivery, maybe we won't get it. The city's off to our right there. Hey, Diesel, should get it pretty soon. Darth Vader's still with us too. I offered to let him out, but he, he kind of wants to see Montana too. So Darth is kind of traveling around with us for a while. We'll probably keep him for a little bit here and then drop him off somewhere. He's been pleasant, you know? He hasn't made any snide comments or anything like that. So, and he doesn't eat much or drink much. Doesn't really, he just kind of sits there, but we're happy to have him along. All right, hopefully we don't snag anything on that corner. Good. Now, I wonder if you've watched these episodes, if you're new to this series and you're just seeing this for the first time, I have this kind of like a moth to a fire, like a bug light type of attraction to the hardest parking with tandem trailers. It's really hard for me when we get to a location to see a 90 or like I can do anything because I've got the game worked out so you can you can do those. I can do anything parkings with the tandem trailers. It's really hard for me to pass those up. And I wonder, is this, well, we'll wait till we get there. I, I don't know if this one's articulated in more than one place, but if it isn't, I'm tempted to try the, I can do anything parking. We've got one successful, well, two successful tandem parking jobs with, uh, in your truck simulator and American truck simulator. Bozeman discovered the last best place, number two out of 15, making progress. But what's that truck doing? Are we scaring him? We're fine. Don't worry, buddy. We got you. Nice. Didn't wipe out the pole. Didn't wipe out any signs. Nice wide turns for success here. So anyway, we've made two successful parking. One only was a backing up parking. Only once again. So I've been able to back up. The other tandem parking, the I can do anything, was actually you had to pull it in straight ahead. Waste management. Oh, nice. Okay, here we go. Stop there. Let's see what we get. I can do anything. Oh boy, can I? Let's take a look at the trailer. Is it articulated or is it just, it looks like it's not, right? So it's got the connection here to the, to the, the first trailer is a connection to the, the cab. And then the second trailer, I don't know how that turns. That might be, that might be articulated in, in the back there too, but okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. What did it say? Oops. Got to get back in here. One sec. You know, that doesn't look that bad. I can do anything. It's just pulling it off to the left there, right? The tricky part is how are we going to get it to line up straight? So we might have to go past it. I feel like, yeah, we're gonna try for it. Let's see what it looks like here. Now, I also, if this is the first time you've been watching this, I do have a rule, and this is probably actually one of those waste management facilities because waste management is the company, the actual company that picks up our garbage in the United States here too. So this is a real company. It's one of the real company mods one. Okay, so we gotta go where? Oh, of course those bins are in the way, right? So it's on the other side of those little bins that are lined up there. Okay, this is gonna be pretty hard then. So we gotta go around this pole. Is it over there? Oh, it's inside that area. I'm not sure we can do anything, but we'll give it a try. Let's get lined up here. But anyway, yeah, I think this is gonna be one of the facilities that allows you to, is it right in there? Ah, oh, it's down that, okay, okay. We're not giving up yet. Looks like it's down that ramp on the other side of that red trailer there. So if we are gonna do this, we have to get back over here. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, right. I don't think we're gonna be able to get this. How on earth do we do that? We'll give it a try. That's not gonna work, is it? All right, I think we have to readjust here. I'm going to have to try to back up a little bit here and see if... Because that's going to go the wrong way. I know it is. 
to push it the other way. So we're going to have to see if we can readjust here. Because I know the rear one's now going the wrong way. Which is not going to work. But I think if we go back here, then I can pull forward and perhaps straighten it out. So we'll keep working on it. We'll be back in a sec. All right. Now I think I can spin the rear one in. So if I can get the first trailer straight in line with the cab, I think I can push the second one back towards the parking spot there. This could take a while. <laughs> see what happens. Yeah. So, so the problem, it, it is articulated, it's double articulated in the back here. We can see at that back trailer right there, it's got two turning joints. It's hard to see on the camera here. If we look at it through our through the truck out the window here, I don't think I can do this because it's it's so it's got three turning joints here, and that's going to be tricky. So I think what I'm going to try to do is to make a U-turn, get over close to the parking spot, and then we should be able to turn this in without parking. So, yeah, tandem tandem parking fail, but I don't think I'm good enough to do that yet. I don't think I'll ever be good enough to do that. Matter of fact, I think I'm probably just going to get this all screwed up. Hopefully, we don't have to abort the delivery, but. All right, so we got the, the cab close enough that we can abort the parking, but yeah, we gave it a try, but fail there. Let's turn this in, though. Our first delivery in Montana, we picked up two cities, and this is, yes, so this is zero waste. So we did that correctly. So you have to take garbage bins to a waste processing, waste transfer station, and that waste management with the real truck is one of those ones. So we're one of 11 deliveries along the way towards that achievement, too. We've got two of the 15 cities now that we visited. Level 23 we reached. There's a lot of accomplishments on this journey here. Let's fragile cargo, just in time delivery. Let's do fragile cargo. I'm gonna apply that one. Now let's take a look at the event, Cruising Montana, one out of 12. Excellent, so we've got 11 more deliveries to make with this. That brings us to the end. Let me know what you think of Montana. Have you got it? Are you checking it out? Are you excited? I'm, I'm Mike and be back either tomorrow or the next day with our second cruising around Montana delivery. So very excited to spend more time in the state. Looks like a beautiful state. Again, it captures that feel of big sky and just the arid, open, wide spaces of the state. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we really haven't even seen some of the highlights. We haven't seen any of the viewpoints or anything like that. So lots more to explore. It's like opening up a present at Christmas or any other holiday that you might celebrate as well. So take care, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I'll put a link to our next episode here as soon as it's ready. And uh, also, please feel free to check out our Euro Truck Simulator 2 series if you're new to this channel as well. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.